Hi, I'm Lise Colucci, and I'm a life coach that helps you to discover and recover from toxic relationships or narcissistic relationships. So let's get started today. Hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and we are going to talk about when you are in a relationship with a toxic person or have a toxic family member that you're still communicating with in relationship with of some sort, and they are the source of something you need. They are the source of something really valuable that you need for yourself. They're the source of your validation. They're the source of some form of human connection that you're looking for and how terribly painful that is because that will never be met. So somebody asked me to talk further about this. They were talking about how they're in their life, they're a collaborator. They enjoy collaborating with others. And that's where they get that feeling of connection and that feeling of expansiveness and joy and happiness and all of that that comes from relationship okay and in talking to them we were talking about how well a narcissist can never really be that a narcissist can never really meet you at the table right where you are and like be there to collaborate with you because they need everything to be their way they need everything to be following the delusional egotistical setup and narrative that they have plotted out right they need everything to go according to their plan so there's no room for collaboration in a situation like that so if you're in a relationship and if you're trying to leave the relationship or if you are in it and don't plan to leave but recognize that you need to do something different with your life in order to have any happiness in your life then it may be time to start thinking about what it is for you that you are looking for from a narcissistic person within a relationship or what it is you need in relationships and recognize whether or not that's something a narcissist can possibly even a little bit be able to give to you. So things like emotional connection, things like intuition that has empathy behind it that then is validating to you. If you need affection, if you need things in relate if you need things in relationship like this person was talking about collaboration partnership friendship fairness equity right start thinking about what it is that you if you are stuck in a relationship with a toxic person or if you are not ready to leave or if it is a situation you can't leave right um start thinking about where you are placing your reliance on this toxic person so that you can find that in other areas of your life. I'm not saying go out and cheat on them. What I'm saying is find ways that fit your own personal moral scope, right? That fit your own personal preferences and choices for your life so that you're being true to yourself at the same time that also create the thing you need. If you cannot get out of it or you are not able to or you're not willing to at this point in your life, then stop looking to the narcissistic person to be the thing that makes it feel like relationship. They don't relate in relationships. It's a one-sided relationship, which means it's not a relationship. They're not relating. What they're doing is self-focusing, self-direction from their ego. And so you are in the delusional world with them. You're not in a relationship with them. That's the sad truth. And that is, if we could face it, would make it easier when we are trying to get out. And it would make, if we can't get out, us capable of having happy lives outside of the relationship piece or the situationship, whatever you want to call it. I hope that expands a little bit more on what the question was that the person who asked about this had. And if not, let me know what you want further on this topic. Let me know what you need further on this topic hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up. If you need coaching or group coaching, please check out the information in the main description of every video, as well as my email or peer support if you need anything. So um, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.